Hello students, so let's try to go for a uh, next video for the group theory. In this video, we will again try to go for one particular multiplication table and which is uh, popularly known as Vihagoppe, which is German word, actually meaning of that group of four. So there is interesting story behind that, but let's try to go for the actual thing. So what is given that uh, there are four element I, A, B, C is given. And the multiplication table is also given. So, this is your multiplication table. So, what we have to do in this multiplication table, some elements are missing. So, what we have to do, we have to just fill this particular element. So, let us try to go straight forward how we can go for all these elements. So, you can see the first will be always identity. So, you will have I, A, B, C, just it is repeating, just like a first row and here first column will be also with the I. So, there is not any problem. So, let us come to the this one, the second one and let us try to go for this one. So, here I, A is, A is given and I into I, some operation I with the operation I is given, sorry, A operation A is given I. And it is given A operation B is C. So, what will be A operation C? So, we have to follow the all the property of multiplication table. Either here A is there, I is there, C is there. So, only B is missing. So, we have B is missing. So, this will be B. And let us try to go for the next part. So, now what will happen? Just try to see this one. If we are just try to see this one, C is there, B is there, A is there, then this value is I. And let us try to go for this particular row. Here B is there, A is, I is there, A is there, so this is your C. And now we have just fulfilled all this, pull this all particular multiplication table. And now we can find which one is the inverse and which one is the identity element. So no doubt I is the identity element because I into A is A i into b is b. So, this is, there is not any problem. But this is very interesting that a operation a is i. So, a is itself inverse of a. This is very interesting. b is itself inverse of b. c is itself inverse of c. And this is you can have something like this. And uh, you can also see here you have whether this is abelian group or not. So, what we will do a operation b is c then B operation A is also C. So, yes, they are abelian group. So, from this particular multiplication table, we can easily figure it out all the property of group and this is a very famous German group. And if we want to see the symmetry, you can see all this symmetry in a color code also. So, let us try to go for this one. So, when we are going for this particular symmetry and uh, this one is so let us try to go for this one. So, look at this one. Look at this particular symmetry from the color code. And you will easily find that you have exactly this symmetry and this symmetry is there. This all symmetry. This symmetry and this symmetry is going to match with each other. The diagonal is your identity and this will be your C. So, you can see this is your C. And now, here you can have this operation, this one is equal to identity. So, A operation A is identity, B operation B is identity, C operation C is identity. So, now you can easily figure it out that this particular group where we are just using this particular, uh, the notation A, B, C, we can also give into some color code also. So, if someone will give you this color code, you have to just identify what will be the inverse of yellow and what will be the inverse of green if we have this particular thing. So, try to see this particular figure very carefully and try to match with this one. You can give the correct explanation if you have all the information of group. So, students, this type of information is mainly used into that to when we are just going to pass the message and that is very secret message in a form of code 
then we can just try to use this type of good. This is the one of the simplest thing, but once you will go for the higher level uh, exchange of message at the security level, then you have to make it little bit more complicated. So this is the one of the fundamental thing. So you can see the group theory is very fundamental to understand to different technology for the information system as well as for the security system. So students, let's try to do with try to do this problem with yourself. And in the examination, this type of problem is always given that they will give you table and some will be some part will be missing and you have to fulfill that particular part. So let's try to do this problem with yourself. Thank you.